biggest pop culture moments of the year in a double issue featuring the 25 most intriguing people of 2011. Joining us this morning, senior writer for People Magazine, Joey Bartolomeo. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, first of all, Prince William and Kate Middleton. I mean, who didn't set their DVR or wasn't up watching the royal wedding? Right. Absolutely. This was the wedding of the year. Uh, they're on our cover, and, and everyone's been fascinated by them all year, and especially with Kate and her adjustment into royal life. She's settling in so well. She's become a fashion icon. Um, she's uh, holding her own at these big events, and she's really just someone that we can't wait to see what else she does. That's classy. The flip side of that, Kim Kardashian's wedding. That's a joke. <laughs> well, Right. Kim is on our list of most intriguing people um, because of what happened this year. I mean, she's obviously um, a huge star. People were watching her, her wedding, all the preparations, very excited for this. And then 72 days later, she decided she didn't want to be married anymore. And people were talking about her again. Charlie Sheen, who didn't have a joke about him. <laughs> Right, Charlie Sheen. I mean, it's funny to think now um, because he's been laying low for several months. But earlier this year, he was the person who everyone was talking about with his uh, tiger blood and the machete and his catchphrase "winning." Uh, you know, calling, uh, talking about warlocks. I mean, this is a guy who uh, kept us entertained, I'd say, for quite some time. Um, but now he's really turned it around. He's working on a, a new um, sitcom for himself, and uh, so it, you know, it's pretty funny now to look back and, and remember what craziness was going on back then. It seemed there were a lot of stories this year that captivated our attention in the courtroom. Amanda Knox, that story for being one of them. Right, Amanda Knox, um, her trial in Italy, people, you know, couldn't stop watching, waiting to see what would happen if, if she would spend, you know, her, her life in prison there or come back. And she's back home in Seattle. Um, she's just, you know, adjusting back to life again. And that was pretty amazing. And another trial that really um, kept our attention was Casey Anthony, who uh, was also acquitted and now is in hiding, um, just you know, trying to figure out what to do with her life because there are so many people out there who are very unhappy with that verdict. And let's jump ahead to Mrs. Ashton Kutcher. Uh, that was a shock or was it a shock? Right, Ashton Kutcher and Demi Moore split. It, it came somewhat of a shock, although you know there were signs, uh, you know, for a while, and especially just in the weeks leading up to the split, that things were uh, wrong with their relationship. Uh, we, you know, we know that they went to counseling and they really tried to work on it, and then finally Demi uh, decided that she, as she put it, she needed to move forward with her life. Yeah. Oh, I love this issue. When you look back, it's like, oh, wow, that was 2011. It was crazy. Thank you, Joey, for joining us. And now the big thing, Thank Demi Moore doesn't want to change her Twitter handle. Because she's at like, Mrs. Aston Kutcher. Yeah, or, or Mrs. she's like, yeah. I'm okay with that. She's, so, I don't know. A lot of people are like, what are you Why doing? Why would you want to do that? Right. Yeah. She's thinking, there is word, though, Rob. She's thinking of changing it to at Rob Haswell. Are you <laughs> cool with that? Wait, you know what? There is there's another Rob Haswell. There's